Hello VTubers, my name is Nate Blackburn. Today I'm here to talk to you about the 180 millimeter wide V2 trucks from Paris Truck Company. I'm gonna to talk to you about the different base plane angles, the specifics of the trucks, including dimensions, as well as some of the key features that make them really awesome. I'm then gonna to talk to you about how I like to set them up on my own personal board, just to give you an idea of what you can do to them to make them feel different or feel more stable, more turning, etc. First off, let's start with the 50 degree Paris. The 50 degree base plate comes set up with the cone bushing on top with a cupped washer as well as the barrel bushing on bottom with a cupped washer. What's nice about this is the barrel on the bottom with a cupped washer is going to provide a very stable center point and a lot of return to center. So once you're done turning the truck, it's going to want to bounce back to its neutral position, making it very easy to pop in and out of your carbs. With the cone bushing on top and a smaller diameter up top in the cone bushing, it's going to allow the truck to move quicker and feel more agile and more nimble. Combine that with the cupped washer, you're going to have that very stable center point again so the return to center for the hanger is going to be great it's going to feel very stable but it's also going to feel if you get up to speed a little bit more active and reactive the V2 also comes in a 43 degree angle. This is a great angle to complement the 50 because it offers a very different turn. The 43 degree angle is gonna be a lower angle on the pivot, which is gonna produce a more leany feel to the turn, meaning that the deck is gonna roll over more for the same amount of turn that you would get out of the 50. What's nice about that is that it's a slower turning truck and it's gonna be more stable at higher speeds and it's gonna also allow you to have to move your feet more to get the board to actually turn. What that means is it's going to be less twitchy at those higher speeds as well. So it's better for a faster type of riding as well. You're going to notice that you have a barrel on the bottom to help keep that stable center point combined with a cupped washer, but on the top you're going to also have another barrel. This is different than the 50 because the barrel is going to provide even more resistance and even more return to center, but with a flat washer on the top of it, it allows the bushing to move a little bit more in the bushing seat, giving you some extra kind of pop and dead space at a certain lean to really kick the wheels out and slide. I really like this setup, it's set up this way, especially for my weight because it gives me a very quick and nimble, like leany ride at speed, but it also feels very controllable when it's time to break the wheels free. Because of the separate ride height between the 50 and the 43, you're going to want to run a quarter inch riser underneath the 43 if you want to run a split setup in order to keep your trucks at the same ride height. I'll go over that more when I talk specifically about the setups I do with each board, which is going to happen right now. This is my carving and cruising setup. This is an Alpine 41 inch from Omen Longboards and I have it set up with drop through 50 degree trucks. What's nice about this is the 50 degree truck is incredibly turny. Combine that with the drop through, it becomes a little bit more stable and easier to shed speed and do some slarving carving action. What I like about the 50 degree on this is that it's a very active truck. So combine that with a nice smildly flexi board like this, it allows me to pump and carve really well. You know, when I'm just cruising around, this is an awesome deck and combine that with the trucks it just works great the 50 degree truck is a little too loose stock for me so I crank it down about two full turns and then it gives me a very awesome turn for my weight I'm about 215 pounds right now so two cranks on this feels good for me I have it set up symmetrically so that it carves great both ways and I don't have to be conscious of which way I throw my board down Here's another way that I like to set my Paris V2 trucks up. On this 9.75 wide, one inch drop deck from Omen Longboards called the Barbarian. The way that I set these trucks up is with a 50 degree base plate in the front and rear so that it's symmetrically turning and I can ride it both switch and normal without noticing any difference in the turn. In the front truck, I like a very active, turny, super maneuverable front end because with a drop deck and a long wheelbase at 30 inches that I have, it's great to have a more maneuverable front end. So I have taken out the bottom cup washer and I have two 90A bushings in there. With the flat washer on top and no cup washer in the bottom, the front truck has a lot of room to kind of squish and deform and be incredibly maneuverable making it awesome and turny. Combine that with my very stable back end of two 93A bushings with a cupped washer on bottom and a flat washer on top. Very big juxtaposition between my front and my back truck. My back is very stable, my front is very turny, making it incredibly maneuverable, but still very tight and like stiff going through corners. Great for fast free ride and really exciting for like higher speeds as well. Nimble up front, but stable in the rear. Here's my top mount. This is legitimately a top mount. It's got no drop, 
and concave. The way that I set my top mount up with Paris trucks is a little different than most. I like to have a directional setup on my top mount so that it's extra stable because the board's directly on top of the trucks. It sometimes can feel a little bit more nimble. So I have a split setup, meaning 50 degree truck in the front with a 43 truck in the back. The way that I set the 50 up is very similar to the way I set it up on the drop deck, except I add a cup washer. Two 98 bushings in the front, no cup washer on bottom, this time a cup washer on top. It just helps to resist wheel bite a little bit more, which I like because on a top mount, wheel bite can be a game ender. Especially since the Barbarian has unlimited wheel clearance and this board doesn't, I have to do a little something something to make sure that my wheels don't stop my whole body by hitting the deck. It's very nimble on this setup as well, especially with that top mount. This board is incredibly active at speed. So I throw the 43 degree base plate in the back but I also throw a quarter inch riser underneath the back truck to help even the ride height out. So both of the wheels have the same amount of wheel clearance and the board doesn't feel canted either forward or backwards. But in the back truck with this top mount, because wheel clearance is still an issue, I do 93A bushings just like you saw on the Barbarian, but I combine them with two cupped washers. That allows the back end to be incredibly stable with an immense amount of return to center. It feels like even at the highest of speeds, the board it can't go anywhere. Especially with that nimble front end, it's an awesome combo. This is the last board that I'll be talking about today. This is my Omen Longboards Cheap. This is a board that I spend a lot of time on because I like to go fast. And in Washington, this is one of the best boards for the types of roads out there in my opinion. Some people may disagree, but let's talk about the way I set it up most. What I like about this board is that you have a 10 degree wedge in the front, adding 10 degrees of turn to your front truck. You have a 10 degree D wedge in the back, taking away 10 degrees of turn to your back truck, making the effective angles 43 plus 10, 53 in the front and 33 in the back. It's kind of goofy to think about, but it really makes a huge difference when you're traveling fast because the back end being so low is going to be incredibly stable. It's so hard to get wobbles on a board like this, not only because of the lower center of gravity, but the tail not wanting to go anywhere really makes the board feel stable. So I combine that with an incredibly turny 53 degree front end, and that makes the board feel very nimble in the front, like a like very turny race car is my explanation. In the front, no surprise, I set this up with a double barrel combination like in just about all my other trucks. The only difference is that I use an extra soft 87A barrel up top with a cupped washer. Because I have unlimited wheel clearance with this type of a board, I don't need to worry about the wheel bite, I'm just worried about the stability because of the speed I typically ride at. So lots of turn up front with a barrel unsupported, no cup washer on the bottom, gives me all the turn to really kind of wrangle in the long 32 inch wheelbase at speed. Once you get to the back, this is where the magic happens. Just like in my top mount, you're gonna notice that I have two green barrels set up with cup washers, both top and bottom. What that does is make the back end very stable. It feels like it's never gonna go anywhere, and it's a great home for comfort when you're traveling at quick speeds. It also feels great in the drift, because with that low end, it really makes it easy to comfortably kick the board out, especially when you're going into some gnarly corners. That's going to wrap up my overview and setup on the Paris trucks today. If you've got any questions or comments, post them in the box below. I've got plenty of time to get to them right now because I've got a couple of bruised ribs, so I've got nothing better to do. And if you want to know how I would set a board up for potential you, ask me down there as well. This is Nate Blackburn signing out, reminding you to always skate safe and wear a helmet.